it's really great to already give a, get a little bit more of your insight of your personality when you say, hey, I, I always want to go for these big audacious goals and, and, and I set the bar really high and I really want to overachieve that. Um, and you, I mean, which can, can be a bad thing. I'll say that that's a, that's a detriment too, because like, I'll be like the second largest triathlon YouTuber in the world. And I'll still be like, Oh, it's not good enough. <laughs> like that's, it's a downside. It's a flaw with most of us endurance athletes that that's how we think. Right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And, and maybe that's adjacent to actually the question that I have. Uh, I mean, you recently spoke up about your personal experience with with depression, uh, and, and I'm really grateful uh, that you're doing so in, in making this discussable in, in the community of sports and things like that. Um, but how would you personally describe that relationship with these challenges that you've had? And, and as well as with, with I mean, uh, uh, the sport, but then also with uh, your personality that you have, you wanna be overachieving and you have these down moments uh, and you have this sport that you wanna excel in. Would you care to elaborate on how, how does that fit together for you or doesn't fit for you at times? Uh, again, you guys are coming with really heat questions here that are making me think. Speaking about the depression and how it relates to all that, I, I'm not really sure how it all relates because it's still very new to me to even talk about it. Like it was Sunday that we finally decided to to talk about it with Sarah True. I have always, since I was about 16, known that I have this double-edged sword of wanting accomplishment, but that accomplishment that I do achieve, whatever it is, is never enough. So if I had to guess, I think it's two sides of the same coin, that depression, that achievement, that motivation, that drive, that everything, it comes with a lot of good things, but it can also come with a lot of bad things. And what I'm trying to figure out over the next few years is how to balance that, how to still have all those good things while not having the bad side of it. Having a successful business by most measures that, you know, we have revenue that grows and followers around the world. And when we come out with products, they usually sell fairly well, but at the same time, it's almost never enough. I'm almost never satisfied. Like there aren't too many high fives that go around in our business and that's not a good thing. So I think that it's part of a lot of people's personalities that those types of people who are really driven for accomplishment are almost never satisfied with whatever accomplishment they have. And how do you get that? How do you get that sense of being satisfied without losing the hunger? I don't really know yet because I'm just on that journey of figuring out how to be satisfied with the hunger. Um, but I think it's similar to the what came first, Terran or triathlon Terran or the athlete or whatever. Like it, it all just sort of seems like it's related to me that it's it's one person and it's the same guy that is triathlon Terran and the athlete and the business person and the depressed guy. Cause it all just kind of comes from the same thing of having a real lack of being able to be satisfied with, with anything. Hey everyone, Taryn Gazelle, otherwise known as triathlon Terran here. I'm the founder of motive and we help motivated humans, people like us, regular humans that have day jobs and families and real life commitments, live a more fulfilling and challenging life um, by going out and attempting feats that they didn't think that they could, typically with endurance sports, whether it's running, triathlon, or cycling, maybe swim runs, whatever endurance adventure you wanna go on, we can help you do that.